Talking of bars, do you reckon these bars, these commercial bars, actually weigh 20 kilos? Are oh, they meant to? But do you think they actually weigh 20 kilos? You could define it if they did. Well, it's funny you should say that. Because I've got a way of finding out. Ooh. Right, if you could be our model then, Craig, right. jump on. Right. So that is 91.05. Props, Craig. Nice. Nice weight loss. Yeah. Yeah, fair play. Fair play. Right, we'll add the bar on now. Now jump on. Ooh. Yeah. Okay, so it wasn't quite as dramatic. Well, the actual bar. The axle bar. Craigie, so it's about 200 grams oh, less. To be honest, I expected that to be quite a big difference. You think a pint of water is going to be 500 grams? Yeah. A bit disappointed by that. Uh, yeah. I bought my scale and everything for no, that. No, no, yes, okay. Um, okay, let's try the axle bar. Right, Craig. Hop back on. Right, no. One way in a on 91. Okay, 91 on the dock. Ooh, not 20. Okay. So that means the axle bar is actually 18 kilos. Mm. Ah, it's worth doing these little experiments, mate. Science, axle bar, myth confirmed. I'm interested to know how much you weigh now. Okay, so 99.15. Mm, yeah, yeah pretty off. much, pretty much, yeah. Not far off. But then again, you times up by six each side. Exactly. I've got two things to say to you. Right. Firstly, happy birthday. Thank you. Secondly, is it true you weigh 83 kilos? Yeah. I don't believe I'll you. Take a picture of no, in fact, <laughs> prove it. <laughs> Add two kilos on for full day of eating. Okay, okay, okay. No, I believe you. Fucking hell, mate. Ooh, that's mad. Ooh. Right, 107.2. You're not deadlifting, are you? I am. Oh, cheers. Okay. So this barbell is 1.2 kilos lighter than 20 kilos. Go again. Okay. I don't believe you. So I was 107.2. It's getting the right way around. Oh my goodness. Oh mate, now the paranoia is going to creep. <laughs> so, genuinely, really so genuinely, so genuinely, 1.2 kilos lighter than 20 yeah. kilos. That's bad. Yeah, commercial bar for you. Is that, is that the one you did your uh, max deadlift on? We need to get you some micro plates, mate. Micro plates? Why, why even bother put five kilos aside? Mate, are you a west sider? I'm not a west sider. Exactly, mate. You're a strength movement person. Okay, so here's the moment of truth. The, the bar that I deadlifted 275 kilos on, let's see if that was actually 20 kilos. What's that? 106.2. 106.2. This is the bar I used to deadlift a PB, so. 100. Okay, just cut those rounds off. So that means I've actually deadlifted a PB of 274.7 kilos. Doesn't quite have the same ring to it, does it? Now pull my bar. No. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you would never ask. Pull my bar, double overhand, <laughs> and just me. enjoy. It's horrendous. Well, you got five on each side. I'm like, it will kill me otherwise. You don't need any more weight than that. My side. Hi, Louis. Can you get on, alright? <laughs> yeah, it's too heavy. That's over 180. <laughs> that's over 180. That's no me. That plus that is over 100. I'm 96. That's over 50. So, each the, side. so the bands must be like at the top over 50. Try one band. Okay, so one band. And I was yeah, about 40 kilos. 40 kilos. 40 kilos at the top. At the top. So that's 80 so, kilos band yes. tension so at the top. So that was 100 I was doing, so that's 100 at the bottom and 180 at the top. For speed. Well, at the bottom. <laughs> Alright, so if you happen to give a shit about how training is going and what I'm doing with training at the moment, um, I have reset the programme, so... <laughs> so, uh... Oh mate, way to throw me off. <laughs> ben has reset the program for me. Um, so we got. What are you doing? Oh, I'm never gonna do this. Do you want to just come and sit next to me? Talk oh, about yeah, what you're doing. Yeah, yeah. How's your training going, Sam? Good, mate. So. 
I haven't got a comb, but I'm growing the beer as much as I can at the moment. Have you got the oil on it? I've been almost packed away. I'm using coconut oil at the moment. And you're brushing it? Yeah, kind of. Best nice. I can. It's looking good, to be fair. It's probably the longest I've seen it. Yeah, cheeks aren't too bad. I'm pretty pleased with that. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And training, how's that going? Oh, yeah, fine, mate. Yeah, yeah, good. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Thanks for that, mate. That's right. Bye, yeah. bro. All right, see you later. Ben has reset the program, so officially working towards... Um, well, this is the thing. I have spoken to Ben about potentially doing a sort of 12-week cycle. That'll be fine, mate. You keep going. To be fair, I've got to shoot off in a minute. I've got to split. I've got to sp split. So I'm not going to really be focusing much on bench at all. Um, obviously we're going to be keeping squats in there because that's just a really good accessory. I find your videos appealing. <laughs> Fucking hell, mm. man. So Ben's program. So Ben's program. So, um, action. Yep, thank you. Yep. Oh, I should just do this at home. <laughs> in fact, that's what I'm going to do. Okay, so, peace at last. Where was I? Yes, Sam? <laughs> oh, fuck's sake. Anyway, as I was saying, I'm doing a deadlift only program with the intention of going for a one rep max in around about 12 weeks. Obviously doing the squat bench and deadlift still, uh, just because I don't want them to lag behind. In terms of weight, um, I'm sort of undecided whether I'm gonna start cutting or whether I'm just gonna maintain my body weight. This week I have just been maintaining my body weight and haven't really been eating too much or too little. Um, but I think I am gonna try and get down to around about 100 kilo body weight. That way, um, if I go for the 300 kilo deadlift, that will be a three times body weight deadlift, which will obviously be huge. Um, but we'll have to wait and see. I mean, realistically, I don't think I've got 300 in me in 12 weeks time, I'd have to work incredibly hard, have to be incredibly disciplined with recovery, food, and everything like that. Um, which just with work and everything is gonna be a little bit tough, but I mean, we'll give it a shot, we'll give it a go. Um, that is the goal anyway, moving forward. Um, and then once I've done that, I will be getting back into full power powerlifting. So um, with the intention of maybe doing a competition in the new year, um, hopefully some sort of qualifier um, which will obviously qualify me for the British Championship. So, I had previously talked about maybe quitting powerlifting. Um, to be honest, after the British Champs, it really just gave me loads of motivation to continue with it. And to be honest, I don't think, I don't really know what I would do other than powerlifting. I don't mind doing things like bodybuilding, but for me, that's just a little bit too subjective. I just like objective goals that powerlifting brings. So hitting one rep max is very um, quantifiable. It's very matter of fact. And that's what I like about powerlifting. So um, I will continue to do that. I think I definitely will be incorporating more um, cardio elements to my training. And I'm gonna try and be a little bit fitter with my training just because as I'm getting older, I do need to be starting to look after that side of things as well. Um, but yeah, I mean, this week um, I'm obviously restarting programming so everything is really light um, and doing higher rep stuff anyway, which I'm really enjoying. I'm enjoying actually getting a little bit of a pump, really getting the heart working. I haven't sweated this much in the gym for a long time. Um, so yeah, Monday was just squats and bench. Um, and it's a lot of sort of accessory stuff at the moment. There's a lot of pause squats, pause bench, last and press as well, things like that. Um, and just a lot of reps really. So. Um, really enjoying it so far. We're going to gradually build it back up, obviously. Um, and then, yeah, we'll just see where we're at in 12 weeks. Uh, and then hopefully we're going to be getting a new big deadlift PB. Day now, the next day, I had my last training session today. I've chosen the worst time to do this. Why don't you have that as your background? Turn around. Yeah. So, yeah, it's Saturday today, um, last training session of the week. Finished off with deadlifts, so uh, having tomorrow off and then back on 
starting it on Monday. So we're here at the cricket uh, party in the park. This is an annual thing just to raise some money for the cricket club. So hopefully next year I'm going to be playing. So I've no idea if you actually heard me because of the fireworks, but um, today was my last training session of the week. I um, was working on a little bit of grip with the deadlifts to be honest, um, and actually trying a little bit of mixed grip. Um, it felt okay actually, because it's been a while since I've used it. Um, so at first it did feel a little bit funny, but as I got into the sets it did actually um, feel alright. Um, I did do, um, with the 175 kilos, I did do the first three reps with hook grip. Um, but it was just really painful. It's not because the grip was going, it's just because it was hurting my thumbs. Um, so I switched that to mixed grip as well. So yeah, gonna be um, trialing that for a little bit as well actually, see if it's um, gonna be better for me rather than always using the hook grip. Um, it's obviously not as good as getting tighter in the back, but it, if it means that I'm gonna not be dropping weights, then uh, I'm gonna be switching to mixed grip. But um, that's that, had a really good evening tonight. Um, just spent the evening obviously with um, family at uh, the party in the park which was the event uh, that the cricket club were doing they do it every year um, so that was really nice um, but yeah gonna wrap up the video now guys just before I go uh, I just want to say I have also released a video called no end in sight which is a video that I did with my mate Dan who is running the London Marathon for the charity RNIB um, on behalf of his dad because his dad is visually impaired, has been for the majority of his life um, and he is running the London Marathon to raise money for that charity. So if you could go and check that out, the link will be in the description box below as well, that would be awesome. Okay guys, I'll see you in the next video. Please be sure to leave the video a like, subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.